Hi everyone, welcome to OGL Dev. Today I want to do a quick uh, Q&A session. There was a question about Freeglot in one of, in one of my uh, videos. So let's see the question and the example code for it. So the question by AT0977 was, can you open two independent windows with GLAT? So thank you for the question. AT0977, that's a cool username and the answer is yes. Now let's see how we can do that. First of all, we initialize the GLAT as usual by calling GLAT init and GLAT init display mode. Uh, here I'm using GLAT uh, double for double buffering and GLAT RGBA for uh, RGBA color mode. And uh, you can um, watch my video about that. I'll put the link uh, in the description below. Now we create two windows. So the first one is initialized with uh, a size of a width of uh, 1920 and the height is 1080. So that's the first window. And then we uh, initialize its position at uh, 00, X and Y, 00. And we create the window right here. So we get the handle in win one. We're even printing out the, uh, the identifier. And the second window is smaller. You can see the width here, 1024, and uh, the height is uh, 768. So we initialize the window size and we set it a bit further to the side at this address. The X is set to 200 and the Y is set to 300 and we set the position and then we create the second window and we name it window two. The first one was called window one. So we get the handle here. So actually let's put an exit here just so we can see the, uh, uh, the handles. Now the code is located in samples, freeglot multiple windows and we have a build file here like all my uh, tutorials. There is a very simple build file that uh, simply builds the, uh, the CPP file with the required um, flags for, uh, in this case, the libraries. The executable will be called free, free glut multiple windows. So let's build it and uh, we can run it. It was already there because I built it before. So here we can see that the windows were created and we got the identifiers one and two. Okay, so that is expected from uh, the behavior of FreeGlot. Now, the interesting thing is right here. GLAT set window is the API that sets the current window. So theoretically, we could have continued and uh, configured the, the display function for each window right after it was created. And this should have worked fine, but I wanted to show a more uh, interesting uh, example where after we created all the windows, we set the current window to be the first one, glad set window on win one handle, and then we set the display function for win one, and then we set the current window to be win two, and we configure a different render callback for win two. So we have two. Uh, render scene or uh, render callbacks for the two uh, windows. So let's see their code, which is at the top. And um, we can see right here, this is for win one. So here we're setting the clear color to be uh, all red. And then we're clearing the window. And uh, in win two, for win two, uh, we set it to be green. Okay, so we'll be able to differentiate them. So remember that the green one should be the smaller one because win2 is smaller and the rest is the same. We set the clear color, we clear the window and we call glad swap buffers. Okay, so now uh, let's run this again, build this again and run it. And there you can see that we're getting uh, a big window called window one and uh, oops, and the second window is smaller. So we've been able to render uh, two different windows and we could now have implemented you know different graphics in each one and they are both uh, they both belong to the same application or a game so you can imagine we can do a lot of interesting stuff with it so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye